Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ4E, and welcome to a brand new series for a game called Drift. Now, I've done a couple series for Drift, but I believe those were demos, if I remember correctly, and now it's out in early access. Um, what is Drift, you might ask? Well, it's another Raft in Space game, and I don't know. These games keep drawing me in. I really, I really enjoy them, and I played this for about a half hour. It seems really interesting. It is on Steam for $20, and I want to say thank you to developers for sending me a key. Let's go ahead and start a new game. I'm going to play Cage's game. It's going to be private. Obviously, you can play online, I guess. I haven't played online, but it seems like you can, which is awesome. And here we are on day one. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to press F, and we're going to get rid of some of this uh, trash in the area. All right, anything that looks broken, we're just going to take apart. Uh, I'm going to grab that, collect that. F... There we go. Um, that's all looking good. I'm going to try not to use my jetpack if I don't have to. Because my jetpack takes up my uh, life support systems. Because Here, we'll watch. See? I don't have uh, a propulsion system, so it kind of takes up my life support. But that's all right. We'll get some stuff out of here. We'll grab that. And that. And that. And now we've cleaned up quite a bit. All right. And we're going to press uh, shift to go down. The first thing we're going to have to worry about is our oxygen. In order to get more oxygen, we're going to have to make a smelter. In order to make a smelter, we're going to have to get some carbon, carbonate rocks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down C and we're going to look for carbon. And then you just let go of C while it's on carbon. And that will show all of the carbon in the area. All right. If you mouse over, it shows how far they are away. I think this is the carbon I would like to go for. I'll grab other stuff while I'm out and about. There we go. Um, this carbon looks somewhat close. Yep, let's go ahead and grab this. Now, you're getting a lot of carbon for this thing. So, we're just going to grab that. And we'll do that again. More, more carbon, please. And I think there was some up here. Okay, beautiful. We'll grab this. Not sure how much carbon I'm going to need. Okay, and let's grab this right here. And then what you do is once you get the carbon, you, sometimes you have to break it up, sometimes you don't. Uh, so yeah, these are all carbon. Yeah, we're gonna crush this. We're gonna get these, these um, carbonate rocks. Some are carbon, some aren't. I forget how much I need. I think twenty. Okay, I think I have enough. All right. So now we got all that. We're gonna come back down here. You don't want to use your jetpack that much until you have a way to get more oxygen back. And honestly, I, like I said, I'm, not, I'm using a jetpack, but it's using the oxygen that I have to breathe instead of, like, a dedicated set of oxygen. All right. Uh, do whatever we need for that. Uh, we do. And we'll put this right here. All right. Put that away. And then we come in here. We can get these carbon filters. In order to get the carbon filters, you need carbon dust. So we're going to crush up the rest of our carbon rocks and put them in there. Uh put them in there there we go now we'll get some carbon filters which is great all right now we just need to get more carbon and get like you know our oxygen supply set up properly all right where would i go for these it looks like there's a lot up there yeah let's go this way this looks like the best way to go sometimes there's going to be rocks that are closer to you but they're only in like one or two groups sometimes there's going to be rocks that are a little farther away but you want to go for them because there's like so many out in that area so, like like this uh, situation right here. There we go. We'll grab that. We even got some ice while we're out and about, so that's going to be good. As far as I know, the only thing you need in this game is oxygen and food. As far as I can tell. Like, you see the O2, and then the little, the little leaf thing is your food. So you are going to have to make some food. Yeah. Right, seems like a good amount of stuff. Alright, let's get back up here. We only got 46 seconds of flight time. Although, once I stop flying, it'll that, that number will go up significantly. There we go. All right. And so what we got to do is... I wish there was a button to crush. Is there a button to crush? Um, shift, control... Yeah, I don't think so. I'd like to just mouse over them and crush them, like, with a button. But that's okay. This works, too. And then... Crush... I wanted to go 16, but I went, I went one too many. That's okay. And then we grab this, and we use. And we got oxygen back. Awesome. Let's see what else we have in our inventory. Um, we have these silicate rocks. Okay, which give you silicate dust. Um, I guess I'll crush up 10 of them. Leave the others for now. 
Uh, do we have iron? Uh, yep, we got iron. Okay, cool. So iron is going to allow us to expand the base with floors. Now, which way am I going? I'm going this way, right? So as you can see, we're, we're kind of over a planet here. And it looks like I'm going in this direction. Okay, so that, that's going to be important to me. Uh, I just got to try and remember that. All right, so one there, there, and there. And then we need to make a crafting station. I kind of wish the station's, like, locked into place. But that's okay. No big deal. All right, so what do we make with this? We can make some iron plates. Yeah, I do want some iron plates. The only thing I don't like about this is it doesn't, like, tell you, oh, make two iron plates. It's, like, it's just going to keep making iron plates. But I only want two for now. And yoink. And the reason I wanted two is because actually, why did I want two? <laughs> I thought I wanted two for a very specific reason, but now I don't know. All right, well, I guess I want more than two. I guess I need ten. I want to make the um. I want to make the uh, research station. Oh, the two is for floors. I, s I see. But that's iron. That's not iron plates. So no, the two is for crates. That's what it was. Yeah, let's make a crate. Oh, they're pretty small. They look giant on this, but then you bring them here and they're like little tiny things. Uh, I guess I'll just put you right there for now. And let's see how much space this gives me. Wait. Oh, I'm in the crafter. There we go. Alright, that's not too bad. That is not too bad at all. Go ahead and grab these. And we're looking pretty good there. The next thing we need to make is the research station to unlock more tech. So we're going to need hoses and plates. So uh, let's take a look. Uh, wires are copper and plates are iron. All right, fair enough. Let's look for some copper. Oh, copper. Oh, copper looks kind of... It's kind of rare now. Where's all the copper, game? Maybe you get a lot of copper out of one of these. I don't know. Let's come check this out. It looks like a big a big piece. Maybe you do get a lot of copper out of it. Right, so, oh, there's a little... Yeah, so there's a faint signal down there. Okay. Now, that is... I don't know what those are, but I know they're like almost impossible. Well... All right, I'm not going to try and get to them unless I have a lot of food and oxygen. When I was playing my test game, I tried to chase one down, and it was like... It was like freaking impossible. Like, it's just... Even when I got next to it, I couldn't really get what was on it. So, we'll, we'll try it out, but um, I would like to get a good amount of oxygen and food um, situated as well. I don't know what's going to happen if I die as well. Like, let's say I go out for an asteroid, I'm way, way far away from my base, and I die. I think I'm going to lose everything I had on me, so maybe I should not have a lot on me. Also, what if I lose track of my, of my base? You know, like, I'm out there, and, like, I don't know where my base is. Okay. Lots of, lots of figure out about this game. There we go. Right, so it seems like there's a little bit more copper than there, than I was thinking, which is nice. Um, I think what we're going to do now is we're going to look for some iron. And I should just be grabbing everything I come across. Whether it's what I'm looking for or not. As long as it's not, like, completely out of the way. Alright. I'm going to have to use one of these. Okay. And we'll grab that. Let's grab a few more pieces of iron. So I think oh, grab that. Yeah, anytime I pass by anything, I should be I should be grabbing it, especially when it's right in front of my face. We're gonna grab a couple more pieces of iron, then we're gonna go back, we're gonna make some food. We're gonna make some more filters. Go. Where are they? Yep. I figured I passed one. Or passed two. Alright, we're just gonna get this one. Let's head home. Come on, asteroid. I'm the papa. Oh, they're not that far away. Oh, there's still two more right there. Okay, hold on. You know what? Since they're so close... Well, are they close? Let's see. I think they're pretty close. Eh, they're relatively close. Close enough. So it looks like a gas giant below me, by the way. Alright, come on. Stop running away from me. Alright, forget it. I don't care that much. 
<laughs> I don't care that much. Let's just get back to base. All right, let's see what we got here. Eh, got a few things. Um, oh, yeah, 20 iron. That's beautiful. So is this a copper one? I don't think so. This is a copper one, right? Asteroid resources. Brush. Oh, no, that was copper. Oh, okay. So the copper one had all the stuff in it. Okay, that's fine. Copper did seem to be more rare up there than anything else. Okay, crush, crush, crush. And let's grab you guys. That's all looking pretty good. Probably use one of these now, honestly. Nice. And what do we need for food? Yep, 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 yep. Beautiful. Get some food going. Got some plates, put the copper in the iron, and yeah, again, I would really like to be able to tell them how many plates to make, because I might not want to waste all that stuff on plates. I gotta, like, babysit this thing because of that. Uh, what was the f uh, G? There we go. Got some lights. You can make a better light, though, later on. Those things are... So I am definitely going this way. I think I'm going this way. It looks like I'm going this way. All right, so we got five, so we just need a few more of those. And then we can make the... Uh, oh, actually, we don't... We don't even... That's enough. I'll just go to the wiring now. Oh, you get two wire per copper. That's nice. That is really nice, actually. Oh, wow, I have exactly ten plates. What? That was that was an accident. <laughs> I'll take it, though. All right, we're going to be able to do some research pretty soon. All right. Change recipe. Can you just turn this off? I guess I gotta take everything out of it. Alrighty. Research desk. Is that? No. That. There we go. And let's take a look at the research. We've got base building, exploration, and multi-tool. Okay. Um, can I look in them without... Alright, hold on. Build the bones of your ship, wall stairs, and columns. Quit wasting oxygen or chasing down asteroids. Also increases um, speed. Unlocks a weak tractor beam. Collect resources from the comfort of your ship. I kind of think I like the multi-tool best. I got to figure out where to get silica wafer. Silica wafer. Um, there we go. Uh, oh, we need water. Made in the smelter. Okay. Um, oh, we're going to need more ice. All right. Let's go ahead and make some water. And we will eat this. And we need to go get some more ice so we can make more food. Ice. Ninety. Seventy four. Seventy six. Seventy five. Alright, let's go down here. Because there's a few of them down here. And we're going to do that again because I know I'm going to have to. Beautiful. Come to Papa. Ice! Ice, ice, baby! You know it's funny? That, that, like, Ice Ice Baby song by Vanilla Ice back in the day was the most cringiest, freaking awful thing I've ever seen in my life. But today, like, I, I watch it unironically entertained. It, it's very strange. Um, I don't know. I just kind of like watching that video now. <laughs> like, you know, say what you want about... I forget his name. The guy who did Vanilla Ice. Say what you want about him, but he committed... You know, it's funny, like, I, I, I read somewhere that he wanted to uh, actually do, like, more heavy metal stuff, and they, they kind of pigeonholed him into being, like, a, the white rapper, because, like, rap was so big, you know, at that time, and he probably would have been a lot more successful if he just did what he wanted to do, or maybe not, maybe not, maybe he was exactly successful because he, he did what the, you know, people told him to do, but I don't know, man. Let's come over here and grab that, we got water. Um, we're gonna change the recipe to food, and I guess I should split stuff. Oh, we gotta we gotta crush stuff first. Crush, crush. Wow, that's a lot of ice, dude. Oh hell yeah, that's what I'm talking. About. Can you crush ice? No, I didn't think so. Um, oh look at this, bots, multi-tool, spacesuits. A lot to this game. Let's go ahead and use that, and we're going to control left click. Oh, it splits exactly in half. Okay, cool. You know, we'll just put 25 in there. I mean, we're going to have to eat anyway. We'll just make a, a good amount of food now. There we go. 
And food. Alright, beautiful. And for you, we still need the wafers. We need four wafers. Four wafers, please. Uh, what was it? Uh, oh, oh, okay. Alright, so four. So, I mean, eight of this. Wait. How do you, like, choose what you want to split? Control plus drop. Split stack. Split, split stack. Quick. Quick move. So, I don't think you get to choose how you split the stack. All right, whatever. We're probably gonna need it. We're probably gonna need extra silica wafers anyway, so I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm trying to only use the amount of resources I absolutely need, you know, to make the item I'm trying to make. But I, I don't see a way to, like, actually split the stack the way you want to. Control plus drop. I don't know what that means. <laughs> What's drop? Control plus Q. Control. Control plus drop. I'm not sure what that means. So, drop is Q, but I do control Q and it doesn't do anything. Control definitely splits, but I, I I need something that's gonna allow me to split like how many I want to split. You know what I mean? All right, what else are we gonna need for this? Uh, we're gonna need eight of those and four of those. I don't think we have enough iron. Yeah. Oh, we only need four of those. Okay, because I already have four in my inventory. All right, so go ahead and do that. And while you're doing that, I guess I will go look for some more iron. Wow. Okay, so I'm making a lot of those things, apparently. That's okay. We're probably going to need them anyway. Yeah, I'm going to need them for... Well, I guess I'll need them for these two, but I'm probably going to need them for other things. Research. There we go. We just have to wait one minute. Why do I have to wait one minute? I want research now. <laughs> like a whiny little brat. I want my research now. Brush. Okay. Get a lot of stuff here. I guess I'll just dump some of the uh, extra stuff I have. So there, 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 we don't need that, uh, we don't need that, we don't need that, okay, that's looking pretty good. Alright, is one minute up yet? Oh my goodness, it's only been a half a minute. What the heck? What is going on here? Hey, yo, come back here. Ah, there we go. I keep wanting to hold the uh, shift to go faster like every other game I've ever played. Uh, shift always makes you go faster, but in this game, shift makes you go down, so usually it's not doing me any favors. And I have to try and remember not to use it. Alright, there we go. Tractor beam, baby! Now we need steel and microprocessors. Okay. Um, I think we'll do super pulsion next, but let's see what we can do um, with the tractor beam. I don't know how exactly that works. Did I get it as a recipe? Oh, I didn't... Yep, tractor system. Right, so, well, we're going to need five more of the wafers. So let's go ahead and do this. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and we'll set up the wafers. Put those in there. We're going to need more water eventually. So why don't we split this twice? We'll put 12 in there. And give me some more water, please. And I guess we'll eat something because, you know, I'm getting kind of hungry. Oh, we got food. We got food for minutes, people. Food for minutes. Wait. Didn't I put five in there? Oh, it takes two. Oh, all right. I see. I see what you're doing, you sneaky, sneaky bee. All right. Put some more water in here. And there we go. Now we should have the wafers. What else do we need besides wafers? Um, okay, so we're going to need five of these. And we're going to need five... Uh, wait, what? I thought we needed wafers. Why did I think I needed wafers? Oh, that's right, for the tractor beam. Okay, I'm thinking about two different things here. Okay. A lot of stuff going on, people. A lot of stuff. And tractor beam. Come on, bro. We need a tractor system, man. Done? Okay, we're done. Got in there with the rest of the wafers. And tractor system. Beautiful. Now, the tractor system is not as cool as you think it's going to be. Like, I thought I could put this on my ship and it would just start sucking things in. It would be great. No, I believe if I remember correctly, this is like something I have to hold in my hand, you know, uh, to go out there and get stuff with. Uh, so, that's fine. But not as cool as I thought it was going to be. We'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't think I am, though. All right. Come on, tractor system. I mean, it doesn't look like something I should like have in my hands but 
I think it's like an upgrade. Multi-tool upgrade, what I tell you? Wrangle asteroids with a low-powered tractor beam. All right, and it goes a multi-tool. Yep. With the tractor system's place, time to wrangle some asteroids and hit and aim small debris floating by. Okay. How do I... Oh, T. Oh, wow, that is actually a pretty good upgrade for me. Yeah, that's not bad. The range on it's pretty good. Like, I didn't think the range would be that... that I don't feel like the range was that much when I used it last time. But maybe it was. Mass imbalance? What the hell does that mean? Does that mean I'm full? What's that below me? Hold on. Nah. Nah, we're not messing around with that right now. Not messing around with it right now. Okay, mass imbalance. I don't know what that mass imbalance means. I thought it meant that was full, but... Apparently not. Okay, fair enough. Let's work on this. We need 10 iron plates. Man, iron is a mother effort, dude. But we do have enough. So, all right, well, that's doing its thing. We're going to sit out here and wrangle in some more asteroids. All right, what do you, what do you got? Come on. Right, I guess I should be looking for iron. See if there's any iron in the area. Oh, there we go. I heard a bunch of beeps. I wasn't seeing anything. Yeah, that, that, that really helped, actually. There's just not a lot of iron in the area. Uh, yes. Okay. All right. Seven, eight, two more. One more. One more. And I'm going to also need the water. All right. And let's upgrade it. <clears throat> Sorry. Let's upgrade suit propulsion. One minute. Right, while, we're, while we're raiding. Okay. These are, eh, they're not that far out. See, this is gonna be nice to pull stuff while I'm going by it. Oh yeah. Snatched it up, bro. You're not going anywhere. I got you. And there we go. And there's a few more right here. Are we almost full? All right, we can grab two more things. I gotta. Maybe I should drop stuff off when I'm coming out here. <clears throat> Might be a good idea. Target too large. Wait, but I got it. What do you mean too large? What the hell are you talking about? Can't get that one. I've devised a way to make an energy-based jetpack so you can save on oxygen and move faster. That's what I need in order to go after those faint signals. Um, build a propulsion system, battery pack, and battery charger in the crafter. All right, I will do that. All right, so that was through here, right? Yeah, okay. I might as well do this right now, too, because I don't see any reason not to. All right, recipes. All right, so you, I got to make one of each of these. Fair enough. Ah, oh, boy. Okay, I'm going to need iron plates. So let me go ahead and crush some of this stuff. And let's get to work on this thing. I went ahead and made the propulsion system and put it on. I don't feel any faster, but I think that's because I don't have any power. Okay, so then I went ahead and made a simple battery pack. Cable string, high voltage charger, advanced equipment. No... Use batteries to recharge. Okay. So I think I'm going to need some more batteries as well, but we'll worry about that in a moment. Let's see if we can put this on. There we go. Oh, it comes with batteries. Okay, so now I should be fast. Yeah. Yeah, definitely faster. Not like ridiculously fast, but fast. All right. So let's see if we can find some. There we go. Yeah, definitely faster. Now, am I using power for the suit now? So I don't have to worry about it using up my oxygen? I think that is the case. So I don't see that thing anymore that says, hey, you're using up your oxygen for your suit. All right, that is awesome. I do love that. Very cool. So now if I see any of those um, signals in the area, if they're somewhat close, 
I might be able to go for them, but honestly, I'd want to make more batteries. So, what do we need for bat- Alright, I need more of that. Let's go ahead and uh, crush this. Crush a bunch of this. 25 sounds good. And we're going to need some water. And we're also going to need more- Dude, I, I only have um 10 of these left. I had like 50 of these. <clears throat> Man, they get used up quick. Alright, well, I guess that makes sense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split these, put that in there. And we're going to have to make more hoses. I'm also going to have to make more iron uh, plates. So there we go. we got a couple more batteries. And we don't have any room, so let's take out the wafers. And let's make more wiring. Right, so now that I have the batteries, I can go, I can go a decent amount of distance. All I got to do is bring filters, batteries... And yeah, I mean, that looks pretty good to me. Brush. Uh, unfortunately for me, I don't see any um, of those weak signals in the area right now. Yeah, those little like uh, wrench things. Nearby source of advanced technology. That's, that's what it is. That's what it is. Where is it? All right. Do I want to go for it? It's not coming towards me. Actually, I could probably gift to it. All right, you know what? Let's just go for it. I just want to die and lose everything, you know? All right, well, I got the batteries. I got that. I got food. Let's go ahead and bring one more of these and some more food. All right, let's go for it. Oh, yeah, I'm way faster now. Like, no joke. But in my test game, I was chasing after one of these asteroids. And I was actually getting close to it. Um, but the thing is, I was using up O2 for my suit. My suit was slower. And it was draining my oxygen. And the thing about this thing is I got close to it, but then it started like getting away from me and I couldn't get quite close enough to it to get what's on it. There's gonna be like, there's something on it and I don't know what it is. And yeah, this is great. Oh, this is so much better. I mean, I, I will have to use a battery in like a minute, but that's okay. I think I wanna bring like extra batteries and stuff. Okay, we're almost there. Almost there. But turn off my light, or is it on? On. Off. I, the light doesn't take power, so. Um, it even told me that when I started using it. It's like, it won't take power, but you get a better light. Which eventually will take power, but it's also a better light. Wow, this is much quicker, dude. It took me like 10 minutes to get over to the asteroid the other time. And it was about the same distance. So there's going to be something on this asteroid I'm going to have to grab. We're running low on voltage. Yeah, I got it. It's okay. So we gotta grab that right there. All right, come on. All right, I should use the battery. All right, there we go. And yoink. Whoops. Yoink. All right, that's it. Can I take it apart? F. Doesn't look like I could take it apart. It looks like it's just a little place to search. Crap, I don't know where my base... Oh, it's right there. Whoa, that was... You know, in the research in the research desk, there's a thing I could research to unlock uh, beacons. And I probably should have done that before I ran out here like a psycho, but whatever. Um, I could see my base, so it's no harm, no foul. I made it back to base, and I did get eight steel and one microprocessor. The problem is I need two microprocessors processors and 12 steel for this for the for the nest advance with the multi-tool reverse engineer advanced materials for building and crafting this one right here is for beacons build short range beacons to mark your way home that's what i'm going for and then automates the crushing of asteroids and rocks and provides that, that so number one number two for sure and I'm going to work on gathering those materials and we will be doing that next episode. Um, I'm really excited about this game. It's It's gotten way better since the demo. Way better since the demo. The demo was fun for like a, a video or two, but I could see this going pretty far, man. This seems like a pretty, um, pretty big improvement from the demo and I'm very excited about that. If you guys are excited about it and you want to see more, make sure to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.